Well, another year whizzes by, so it's time for the annual Christmas video. This year we're looking at Japanese Christmas albums from the 1970s. The first of which was not this one, the 10 track budget album. Maybe nobody in Japan requested Mama Like the Roses. This is a UK copy. A record was actually made in America on the RCA International label. There's Elvis from Speedway. What do you reckon? Do you think that's a cut and paste job? So when was the first Christmas album released in Japan in the 1970s? Well, it came out the following year in 71. And there is that splendid picture of Elvis in Speedway. However, that is not the front cover. It's actually the back cover. There's the front. Very nice Christmassy look to it. They put some thought into this one with the red white and green traditional colors. This one was actually released in tandem with The Wonderful World of Christmas, which, as you may know, came out at the end of 71. Now, if you look closely at the two Obi designs here, well, you can see that the, the, the designs are identical, but this one here over on the left, you can see it says volume one down here, and this one here says volume two. So why is that? Well, if we turn to the back cover again, in red at the top there, the middle row of text reads Presley Christmas Album, Volume 1. The top row reads White Christmas. So the Japanese title of this release was White Christmas, Presley Christmas Album, Volume 1. If we go to uh, The Wonderful World of Christmas, the green text here reads Presley Christmas Album, Volume 2. The red text reads Hajimete no Christmas, which means the first Christmas. In other words, the first Noel. So the Japanese album is actually titled after the second song on side one. The Wonderful World of Christmas is the fifth song on side one, of course, and that in Japanese is Sabarashi Christmas, which just means Wonderful Christmas. Both records were gatefolds, gatefold sleeves, I should say. On the right there, it has lyrics in English, and on the left, it has notes about the songs and sleeve notes. There's also a message from Elvis. It reads, Merry Christmas to all the fans in Japan. Thank you, Elvis Presley. So that message came in inside both sleeves. There is actually a mistake on this first obit. If you look just over here, you can see the number 10. And what that's telling you there is it's telling you that there are 10 songs on the album. And there, of course, are clearly 12. They did correct that the next year in 1972. The 72 Obi is very similar in design to this one, except it has a bell at the top instead of a ribbon. Uh, the text changed. No, in fact, the text was the same, just the ribbon changed, and um, they changed that to 12 songs. The next one came out in 73. So you can see that they kept on releasing the album in the same cover. But every year, the Obi designs changed. And once again, the two albums were released together. And that continued until 74. This is 73. This one is really interesting because at the top there, you see it's got RCA. But just above that, you can see some small text in green. That actually reads Feliciano Golden Christmas. So what's that, what's that all about? Well, Feliciano is actually Jose Feliciano. In 1973, in Japan, they released a Jose Feliciano Christmas album. The album is just called Jose Feliciano in English. But in Japanese, it was called Feliciano Golden Christmas. And that's what it says at the top here. So they've mistakenly included the uh, title of that album at the top of this Elvis obit. So like I said, the two albums were released uh, in tandem until 74, and then this is the 74 Obi design. And uh, the text changed very slightly each time. On the left side here, you've got the song titles. On the right side, you've got a little summary of the album. And they change it very slightly each time. And then finally, it came out again in 1976. It's still got the same front cover. This time it's got a really nice 
will be here with the picture from uh, Aloha. And the back cover is very, very slightly different. So let's see if we can compare that with a previous one. See if you can spot the difference. How are we going to do this? He says, try not to rip the obis. There you go. That should be enough. So if you look at the top one there, this is the 73 one. You can see it says volume one. And the lower one from 76, it's just got this blob, red blob there. And that's because Wonderful World of Christmas was no longer available at that time. So they just scrubbed out or uh, removed volume one and put this uh, strange little design there. You can also see on the front of the OB, the volume one has disappeared. And also on the, te on the sp uh, spine, it no longer reads volume one either. So that album came out every year for six years with a slightly different obi every time front cover sorry yeah the front um and the inside and the back were pretty much identical and then finally in 1977 after elvis died somebody finally requested mama like the roses in japan this is the 10 track version which finally appeared at the end of 1977 it does reference Elvis's death in the uh, in the text here on the, the small text on the right. The album is still called Blue Christmas in Japanese, and this was actually the first time that "If Every Day Was Like Christmas" had been released in Japan. It's not mentioned anywhere on the cover or the obi, however. That was probably before the days when unreleased songs became a really big selling point. And there is the back side, which contains or which shows the uh, American Camden releases. These particular albums had been deleted by that point, although they would be released again the following year, 1978, in Japan. So there we are, the uh, story of Elvis's Christmas LP releases in Japan in the 1970s. Let's leave it there for this week. All that's left for me to say is uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas and maybe I'll see you next week on New Year's Eve, hopefully. But until then, take care. Merry Christmas. プレスリーボリューム1って書いてありますね。裏にちょっと違うタイトルですね。プレスリークリスマスアルバムボリューム1。これと同時に発売された初めてのクリスマス。こっちはエルビスプレスリーボリューム2。裏ジャケにプレス
で74年にまた帯のデザインが変わりました毎回キャッチコピーも左側にある曲目も少しずつ変わりますで76年にまたやっぱり出ましたね同じアルバムホワイトクリスマス今回も結構素晴らしい帯がついてますねアロハの写真そしてやはり曲目とキャッチコピーまた少し変わりました裏ジャケは変わりないしあ変わったちょっと待って見てボリューム1がなくなりましたねなぜかというとボリューム1ですね76年に初めてのクリスマスがなかったからそしたらボリューム1必要ないですねこっち側にもボリューム1って書いてないです背にも書いてないですで初めてのクリスマスはまた78年に、えー、見開きジャケじゃなくて普通のジャケにまたあ出ましたけど77年にこのアルバムはようやく引退しました代わりに10曲バージョンはようやく出ましたで面白いことにキャッチコピーに、えーあのエルビスがこの世に残した素晴らしいクリスマスヒットソングアルバムって書いてあります。つまり、えー、エルビスがもういないっていうことを示しています。で、えっ、ー、と、ゴスペル曲もないけど、代わりに思い出のバラ、クリスマスに全然関係ないけど、思い出のバラと今まで未発表の毎日がクリスマスならが入っています。10曲だけだけど、まあ、最後の曲以外全部クリスマスソングですね。皆さんどっちがいいか。12曲バージョンか10曲バージョン。じゃあ今回は以上です。皆さんメリークリスマス。